Hi, in this video, we have to find f of g of x and g of f of x, and then determine if f and g are inverses. So basically, if we get x as an answer for both of these, then the answer is going to be yes. If even one of these fails to be x, then the answer is no. Let's go ahead and work it out and see what happens. So solution. Let's start with f of g of x. So f of g of x basically means that we're plugging g into f. So the first step will be to actually replace g with what it actually is. So this is f of, and then g of x is 2 over x plus 5. So this is 2 over x plus 5. Very nice. Now we're going to take this and plug it into f. So this whole thing here is basically our x. Up here we have f of x equals 2 over x minus 5. So this is going to go where the x is in this function. So now this is equal to 2 over, and instead of x, we just have this expression here. So 2 over x plus 5, and then we have the minus and the 5. So this whole piece here is our x. Now because we have a fraction here on the bottom and to avoid confusion, I'm going to put parentheses here. They're already there, but they're implied. There's even parentheses around the two, except nobody really writes them because what's the point? But look what happens now. We get some cancellation, and then this is equal to two over parentheses two over x. So we have two divided by two over x. So when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is really two times and then x over two. These cancel and then so you end up with x. That's really, really good because we got x for this one. Now we just have to make sure or hopefully we get x when we compute g of f of x. And we will, but let's just go ahead and verify. So g of f of x is equal to, so this time we'll start by replacing the inside piece with what it is. This is g of, well f of x is two over x minus five, so this is two over x minus five. So now we look at g. So g is up here, so it's two over x plus five. So basically what we're going to do is put this where the x is in the formula for g. So it's two over and then we have x, but our x is this, right? So we're gonna put parentheses two over x minus five. It's important to put the parentheses so you know like, you know, how to divide correctly. And then plus five, so plus five. All right, let's keep going. So this is equal to, so we have two divided by all of this stuff. So when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is really two times x minus five, and then it's all divided by two. And then we have the plus five hanging out over here. These cancel, so this is equal to x minus five plus five. The fives cancel, so we end up with x. So we got x for both of our answers, right? f of g of x is equal to x. g of f of x is equal to x. Therefore, the answer is yes, the functions are inverses. So if you do a problem like this and you don't get x for both answers, then the answer is no. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.